protected event. Presented by Corona and Hurley. Will and Cardoso is going to take on Mikey Wright again here in Bali. And William getting this one started with a couple of big hall breaks away though and just doesn't give him much scoring opportunity through the inside. Mikey picks up the second wave in the set, climbs on the roof, stomps the float, has to fight to get back out in front of it, but the wave will slow down again and provide some nice clean face for him to work with. Huge floater there. And he's going to plan it. This is a great little sparring match right here. And lip line and dropping out of the sky, so kind of losing some speed coming off the bottom, but does a nice setup snap to come right back up into it. And then drops off tail first, completely disengaged, reconnects, and does well to stay over the board and ride out of it. Will and Cardoso both with a massive opportunity. Mikey, one of the big movers on the Jeep leaderboard coming into this contest. He's going to be climbing his way into the top 10. And William. Coming from way down the back end of the ratings, coming into Bali, he's going to be leaving in a great position. This wave is just going to sleep for a moment. He's going to stick with it. Seems to have a really good read on Uluwatu, the Brazilian. You can tell that this isn't the first time that he surfed this wave. I love the way he's just been threading together those big power turns and now loading up some speed for a big finish on the inside. Nice float there. And the crowd's been really getting behind him. Nice big drawn out carb off the top and pushing on the tail to finish this one off. So that's much better than his opening ride, that 4.33. And that wave almost looked like nothing for a moment there. It's so fun to see this thing rebuild. If you go down there and take a look from the bluff, you really see the line on the wave and you can see way down the line, of the line it just kind of curves in on the reef and you can kind of forecast what's going to happen as it comes down this see him right there look over his shoulder he knows this thing's going to rebuild he knows that he's got plenty of work to do down the line and look at it hit the reef goes straight into the sections where the power pockets are arriving and he does really well right here as he does the double pump down the line throws a huge float and goes back to work i mean this is some great stuff down here on the corner from william cardos i love it i think that this wave was just paying bills right there Really solid start. A goofy foot in there because on this side, the, the men's side, they're gone. Cardoso having a look at an insider there. Still trying to get rid of that 4.33. Probably won't do it. So no. Mikey's requirement remains the same, a 5.51. Again, as there's ever changing conditions in the ocean. Cardoso on the inside, under priority, picking this one off. Wants to drop a 4.33 and replace it with something more solid. And this guy is just on a mission, just a really quick sequence, a big backhand blast. That's how he qualified. Such a big frame, but he really does put it to work. I mean, that turned not much into money, but right here, slam, just straight up into it. Perfectly timed, two turns in a row. A third one finishes strong, so pushing a lot of water out the back right there. But this is going to be a... A bigger wave with a bit more opportunity on it. Let's see what kind of rhythm Mikey can get in. Solid start. Again, hammers the pocket. A third maneuver on the outside. This wave shaping up well through the middle, but it's going to separate. It's going to break. Reel off through that racetrack section, and Mikey cuts it short. Have a look at the numbers coming through for Cardoso. Very solid on the inside. So where do you think this number is going to go for Mikey Wright? He's going to need something pretty solid. Yeah, but I think it's going to be a great score because he really attacked the lip line. The first two really strong, the third a bit of a different turn, so maybe the variety playing in. He's actually going to give it up and let Willen have another shot at bettering his position. Trying to drop a 6.27 here. This guy, you know, he's had a couple of similar sort of rides, so he really wants to lay into something. I don't mind it. Under priority, I like the fact that he went all out on that first section. And William, put the buckets out the back fire hose, is turned on into a Christmas tree. Car spray glides in of the beautiful canvas, comes off the bottom. A quick turn in the corner. Look at this thing lining up. Perfect board placement. Pushes out onto the corner, and then this is where things went a little off. You can see him, looks like he's loading up for something, and then the wave stands up, he pushes over that end, he goes, oh, 
Wolf Bob. Other points in this ride. He's going to have to go all out. Smooth swoop to set it up. Needs this wave to grow down the line. Hammers that section. Up into the pocket again. Moving a lot of water. Still needs more though. Drifts the tail. Climbs on the roof. Swings again. One of his better rides. But he's at the 7.45 he's looking for. And we're waiting on the numbers to come through for Mikey Wright. Let's take another look at it. Off the bottom, a quick snap opens up. Right here, he throws the tail out. Lamb. Really nice timing. Even better right there. Lightning fast. Pushes hard again. Different turns. And then finish turn was really good. I mean, I love the finish that way. Well, there's still time on the clock as the Brazilian gets on his feet again. He's going to ride this one through to the inside. He actually takes a fall. The heat has come to a close. Semi two is a wrap. I don't know. I think he's going to get it. What do you think? Well, it was close, but not enough for oh. Mikey Wright. His run through this event has come to a close. Look how close the heat score totals were. It, it is going to be Will and Cardoso taking on Julian Wilson in the final.